A crackdown on illicit mining operations is currently on its fourth phase of investigations, revealing a highly organized syndicate that brings foreign nationals to the abandoned shafts of the gold fields in Velkom to extract remaining gold deposits underground. Police say they are interrogating everyone who has been arrested. They are also confiscating all equipment they find underground. The arrested Zamazamas face charges that include illegal immigrating, illegal mining, trespassing and possession of gold-bearing material. Uh, the operation has started in, uh, on the, in December 2023, on the 14th, uh, up until now. It is happening in phases. We are now in phase four of the operation. And um, this is a national intervention that is mainly focusing on the illicit mining that is happening um, uh, in around uh, the, the country. And Free State is one of the, those provinces. She says police have also managed to identify the people responsible for supplying the illegal miners with food. They have also confiscated tools that the Zamazamas use underground. We have intercepted vehicles, intercepted food supplies that have been, and the medicines and that keeps them going underground. When we're talking food supply, we're talking from uh, dry food, your maize meal pup, instant pup, movite, canned uh, food, your beans, your pilchard, and um, some uh, uh, syrup that they are using. Uh, that is believed to keep them moving or having more energy and peanut butter. Police say targeting the Zamazama's food supply is yielding good results. We notice that through the intelligence that if we stop the food supply underground immediately, then those people underground, they start to surface. Mazi adds that one of their successes has been shutting down the illegal operations at the Kopanung mine. We have already, with the help of the security personnel of that mine, apprehended uh, illegal miners that are coming from underground. So that is the intervention that we are doing. And we believe strongly after the inter, uh, interrogation, they will tell us that they are, the number under is being reduced because of lack of food. The operation is also exposing the value chain of illegal mining, shifting from just the men underground to other role players including police spotters, food suppliers, food couriers and the buyers of gold. We have passed the stage where we were to identify the enablers, the market and the people that are behind financing the activity. We are at a stage now where we are uh, we are addressing them. Soon, uh, soon we will be in a stage where we can say the level one and the level two in terms of the, of the criminal value chain, uh, illicit mining value chain. We have um, done the necessary impact. That is what that was required. Kamakhelo Siegui, SABC News. Welcome.